Hello and welcome to Nate's Studio Desk. My name is Nate and today we're gonna to talk about the five reasons why I think you should ditch SketchUp and start learning Rhino. Now, I have done videos on how to use Rhino like SketchUp, how to switch from SketchUp to Rhino, but I have not really talked about why I think you should do this, and that's why I'm making this video. If you find this video helpful, like and subscribe and stay up to date with the latest videos on how to improve your architectural skills. All right, let's get started. Okay, so first up we have compatibility. This is one reason why I really like Rhino because it's compatible with a whole host of programs and works really well in between those. Not only does it work really well with DWG files, but it is an AutoCAD program within itself. It has a direct connection to both Archicad and Revit now. That's something that SketchUp has yet to have. And so the ability to work between BIM programs and Rhino is an incredible advantage and something to consider for the future. So next up we have capability. And what I mean by that is how powerful is this program? Can it process lots of information? Can it render complex geometry? And does it have an immense amount of tools available to it. I know that in SketchUp, you can download lots and lots of plugins, but that's why I like Rhino. You don't need to add in all those plugins that you normally would for SketchUp. If you ever switch machines, it's gonna take you a significant amount of time to re-upload all those plugins. Whereas in Rhino, it already has all those tools, so you don't really need any external plugins. There are a few. You could say Grasshopper is a plugin, Visual Arc is a plugin, but those are not necessary to functioning within Rhino. Whereas in SketchUp, those plugins are essential. It can process curves and surfaces better. It uses something called NURBS, non-uniform rational basis splines, which is another way of just saying it's a mathematical uh, model that helps represent curves. Whereas in SketchUp, you're working with line segments. How the program is just programmed, uh, it favors curves and, and, and non-uniform surfaces and will allow for that flexibility. And that's why I think Rhino is more capable of a program. Okay, now let's get to number three, which is design potential. And this is also another tricky one because at the end of the day, it's just really a matter of how you leverage the software to explore your design with flu fluidity. However, there are still some basic functions and factors of how a software operates that allows you to have more or less freedom within that software. The reason why I think Rhino has more design freedom is that you can use Rhino like you use SketchUp, which is why I made those videos on that topic, but you don't have to use it like that. You can also use it in a whole host of other ways and techniques and using different methodologies. There's just a lot more options in terms of how you want to model. For those people that are super technical, they can really get into the line weight and editing line work and then using that for the basis of their design. Or for those people that want to do more of a push and pull, they can do that. Or if they're people that want to get into parametric design, the parametric capabilities are a lot easier to access than they are in SketchUp. You also have some new features like SubD, which again, it's another layer that adds an additional flexibility and design freedom within Rhino. Okay, so next up we have accuracy. And this is also gonna be a tricky one because obviously it depends on the user and how they're going to use the software itself. I know there's things like rulers and the tape measure within SketchUp that you can build in a lot of accuracy and of course using guides as well. However, Rhino is extremely accurate. It is like a CAD program, but at the end of the day, when you're done modeling, it just seems generally that there are leftover lines, messy geometry that happens in SketchUp. Whereas in Rhino, that just doesn't happen as often because you don't have that automatic sticky geometry and the geometry just tends to be a little cleaner and therefore your models tend to be a little bit more accurate. Okay, so the last item we have for the reasons why I think you should ditch SketchUp and start using Rhino are the plugins. And 
This is where, this one is, is pretty even, I do admit that, because SketchUp does have so many plugins. However, the powerfulness of Grasshopper is, is something to really consider and its potential. Specifically, like I talked about this before, with Grasshopper, you can fully integrate with Revit and Archicad and other BIM programs. That's a pretty substantial thing to consider. Not only that, there's a lot of Grasshopper scripts out there that you can just download and use that are really useful for exploring design. Okay, so those are my five reasons why I think you should switch over from SketchUp to Rhino. Let me know if you have additional reasons in the comments below and what your thoughts are. And in the future, I do think I'm gonna do a more traditional uh, SketchUp versus Rhino because I do think there's a lot of positive aspects about SketchUp. It's very quick to use and it's very easy to learn, whereas Rhino does take longer to learn and it can be a little bit more complex to use. So I do want to do a compare and contrast, but I first wanted to recommend people to switch over to Rhino. I really think that once you start using these programs over the years, you're going to be able to get more out of Rhino. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video is helpful and let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'll see you next time.